Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to talk about the best upgrade you can make on your golf clubs. Stay tuned. Okay, so what's the best upgrade you can make on your golf clubs? Well, I think the best upgrade, no matter what the set of golf clubs you're using, but the best upgrade you can make is to get really good grips. So uh, the grip is the most neglected area of golf clubs. People get them, they're new, they're fantastic, but over time the UV rays react with the polymers in the grip and they send them shiny. So you have put, made a video on how to care for your grips and I'll put a link in the bottom of the video uh, toward the end here. But in the meantime, are you using the best grip and is it the right size? So I've got some grips here that I've, uh, they're three commonly used grips. So there's all sorts of various shapes and sizes that we can use. Uh, these are all Golf Pride grips. So we've got this one here, which is the Tour Wrap. So it looks like it's a wrapped grip. It's actually quite tacky. It feels great in the hands. Uh, I find with this particular grip that over time that little shininess wears off and it doesn't grip quite as well. The other grip which is quite good is the Tua Velvet. That's a very common grip. It's actually quite nice, feels great in the hands, wears pretty well and it's very easy to clean and, uh, and care for. The other grip is the uh, New Decade Multi Compound. This is the one that I actually favour. Um, doesn't mean to say everyone should get it, it just suits me. So we've got some cord up here in the top and then down the bottom uh, has got a nice rubber. Still a little bit of cord, but it just feels great in my hands. It does get a little shiny after a little while, so you just uh, care for the grips with the uh, warm water soap, scrubbing brush, occasionally a bit of uh, sandpaper and uh, that's the one that I use. Here's my, my one on my Mizuno uh, golf club now. So they come in various shapes, uh, various colors, I should say. In terms of size, it is open to conjecture a little bit, but my rule of thumb when I talk, when I'm doing some club fitting, is if you wear a medium glove, you have a standard size grip. If you have a medium large glove, you need one layer of masking tape underneath. If you have a large glove, you need two layers, and if you have an extra large, you need three layers. Now, sometimes you need more than that, and it's, as I said, it's just a starting point, it's a rule of thumb. You can also get grips in standard size and mid-size, and for people with arthritis, uh, you can also get a jumbo grip, uh, but that's a video for, for another time. So. Uh, in think about uh, trying all these grips, there's a lot of uh, golf shops have demos uh, and you can take a club out, try them, see how they feel to you. And of course, the best way of getting fitted for a golf club is to make sure you go and see a PGA golf professional. They're the experts in the field and they will help you to determine what grip size you need. So any other questions, just send me an email, uh, use Twitter, Facebook, anything you like, ask me any questions you like. I'm always here to answer. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can subscribe by clicking the button down there. I'll put a link to the video on how to care for your grips up there. And we've got some other videos you can choose in there. If you'd like further information, you can get that on Facebook or my Twitter feed. And you can also go to my website, www.thegolfdoctor.com.au, where you can sign up for my electronic newsletter. Thank you.